In this video, presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to be tackling a more difficult chain rule problem. We're going to be finding the derivative of sine of x squared all raised to the third power, which I'll just rewrite now as sine of x squared raised to the third. Now the reason this is more difficult is we're going to be using the chain rule inside of the chain rule. And let me demonstrate why that is. Our f of x is going to equal sine of x squared. But you'll notice right away that this is going to be is going to require the chain rule to find the derivative of f prime of x. And our uh, g is a uh, power rule to the third. That will be no trouble to find. So we have this more complicated uh, derivative here, but it's not that bad if you think about it. Yes, we need to use the find, use the chain rule to find the derivative of f of x, but we know how to do the chain rule, and once we do that, we apply the chain rule again. So now our f prime of x, or sorry, f of x equals sine of x squared. So this will give us an a of x as x squared and our b of parentheses as sine parentheses. And then of course our a prime is going to equal 2x and our b prime is going to equal cosine. Now that we have that, we can plug everything into our chain rule here. Um, A representing what's normally f and B what's normally g. So our uh, B prime is cosine parentheses our A of x, which is x squared, times the derivative of A of x, which is 2x. So our f prime of x equals cosine x squared 2x and our g prime in the original equals 3 parentheses squared. Now we have our four components necessary to plug into our formula again and we'll just plug and chug and we'll have our answer. Our g prime 3 parentheses squared f of x sine of x squared times our f prime of x which is cosine x squared 2x. And that's our derivative. We stack the chain rule twice, but that's no problem in finding this.